the global brain consists of all the animals, all the bacteria, all the humans on the planet. And we all contribute to each other's minds. Um, for example, you're a, a collective of 100 trillion cells. 50 trillion of those cells don't even claim to be you. There are bacteria in your gut, there are bacteria in your armpits, there are bacteria in your throat. The bacteria in your throat are fighting off bacteria that would like to eat you. Um, the kind of bacteria that give you diseases. The bacteria in your gut are turning out vitamin B and vitamin K for you. Meantime, those bacteria have the collective knowledge of uh, three and a half billion years to four billion years of life inside of them. And you are busy getting knowledge from, we're taking knowledge from chimpanzees, we're taking knowledge from bonobos, we're taking knowledge from, uh, from the elk or, or the animals of the Serengeti. And we've been doing this since we 2.5 million years ago when we invented stone tools. What did we do in order to be fast? We, we imitated antelope. There is, as you said, the stuff that we're conscious of. And then there's a whole bunch of stuff we're not conscious of. Why, for example, do we actually think in one way or another of sex all day? Um, you know, as women move past our eyes, we're framing each one in terms of what would that person be like as a sexual partner? What kind of person would that be like as a, uh, a life partner? Um, and, and then we're trying to buy a car that will impress all of our friends and wear the shirt and we're trying to wear the shirt and pants that will let us blend in with the group so people won't think we're foolish and stupid and at the same time that will set us a little bit apart. Why do we do all these things? Because we're components in a larger collective intelligence and because that larger collective intelligence works through things like sexuality and the genes that sexuality represents, it works through things like vanity, it works through things like our need for novelty, it works through all these strange little things that we think are the seven deadly sins. They're there for a reason. They help contribute to the effort of a collective brain. Well, a lot of people, when What the Bleep came out, the movie, ran to it and took it as their new Bible. And then The Secret came out and they ran to it and they took it to, as their Bible. And what did these two Bibles say? Dream of something hard enough. Think about it, visualize it every day, and you will achieve it. No, I'm sorry. Dreaming of it is a necessary first step. But the next step is every day when you get up, making yourself do at least two hours to take you toward that goal. Even if it looks absolutely hopeless for the first three years, take yourself toward that goal every single day. The two elements of achieving anything in life are what I call the infrastructure of fantasy. Those things you dream about, which you, by the way, share those dreams with a great many other humans. Um, and the second element is persistence, 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 as the Japanese put it, eight times down, nine times up.